Hey everybody, Scott here from G-System Videos. We're wrapping up the week of weird, bizarre, goofball tones. And I'm going to show you my uh, my fusion tone. This is the, uh, the thing I like to use when I'm playing fusion-y, jazzy -er stuff. And uh, it's a little odd, so I thought it might fit. Let's check it out. This one's got uh, some interesting stuff going on. I just uh, use my clean amp, so no uh, no Nova Drive. The uh, reverb, spring reverb, relatively simple setup here, and uh, not too much of it. A little bit of EQing. I like to use my neck pickup, and I don't EQ away too much low end, but I do take away some uh, mids and highs. I want a jazzier sound. Um, the delay, single delay, and 400 millisecond, which is one of my favorites. And then I uh, raised up the low cut, brought down the high. Not too much delay, really. It's just an ambient kind of thing. I am using the doubler. A little bit of pitch shifting. A little delay on that. And I like the classic flanger for this one. And... Uh, it's one of the few times that I've actually used the flanger on a patch. But it's important to uh, bring the feedback to zero on this one, otherwise you get a really goofball sound. And I'll bring in and out the uh, the wah on this one. What I use is the, uh, actually I use the touch wah, but the low range. And uh, I'll demonstrate that for you. It's got some pretty cool things going on with this. And when I, you know, bust into a lead, it just really gives it an interesting... Uh, uh, character. So let's check it out. There you go, everybody. A uh, a glimpse into the uh, my personal settings this week. Some of the weirder ones, goofy, dark side, and even the uh, light, smooth, jazzy fusion side. Good times. Have a good weekend. Rock on. <laughs>